we think faster than we talk by a lot. So you're going to, if you're verbal and assertive at all, you're going to interrupt people. Uh, and the notion that you could stop doing it forever is kind of a fallacy. You're not going to eliminate that. You could reduce it, but it's still going to come up sometime. So what is it that makes a real difference in, in this or any other kind of thing is self-awareness and responsibility. So the first part is recognize that you have a tendency to do something that you're got, you've done something before you're going to do it again, right? I know that I'm verbal. I know that I leap ahead. I know that I'm preoccupied with my own thoughts. I know that I'll interrupt people. I also know that I'm salesy. I also know that I'm dominant. I also know that I'm verbal, that I'm bossy. I know that I'm persuasive. I can be perceived as manipulative. I'm definitely arrogant. I know lots of things about me. And many times the negative things about us, we like try to hide them, especially early in our careers. We try to suppress them, cover them up, paper them over, manage them, get around them. But if you could just own them, I am that way. It's not the only way that I am. It's not the way I'll always be. It is how I will be from time to time. I'm sorry. And you could own it and acknowledge it. So being responsible for something is saying, oh, I did that. I'm sorry. I don't mean to do that. I recognize there's an impact. And then just like quickly cop to it, right? Confess. Oh, I did that. I'm sorry. You will take such a sting out of it.